right, Deb, thank you so much for coming out and teaching me again. Um, we're here at a different part of Amelia Island. We're by Egan's Creek. We've got spoonbills in the back. It looks like a wood stork. I mean, this Good island audience, yeah. is constantly amazing me. Yeah. Uh, today, I'd like to ask you a few questions and learn some techniques to loosen up my neck and shoulders. Uh, I'm always tense in my neck and shoulders. My wife and daughters are always tense in their neck and shoulders. Could you show us a few different moves and poses to really open up our neck and shoulders? Absolutely, we're gonna do some seated here, super easy. You'll be able to do these in the car, at work, wherever you are. Sound good? Okay, we're gonna take the hands out to the side. Really stretch through the fingertips. Take the hands to the grass. Okay and then crawl the fingers a little bit further away. Nice. Okay. And drop the chin to the chest. Keeping the shoulders level, roll the right ear to the right shoulder. Walk the left fingers away. Tell me where you feel that. I actually feel it on my left side. Yeah. A good bit. Opening up the left side of the neck. And then keeping the shoulders square, drop the chin to the chest. Okay. Move the shoulder blades together. You should feel this back of the neck. Nice, easy breaths. And then roll the left ear to the left shoulder, moving the right shoulder away and walking the right fingertips away, opening up the right side of the neck. Definitely feel that. I actually feel that in my arm itself, on my right arm. Yeah, all the way you're down opening up my... maybe even the bicep a little mm -hmm. bit. Yeah. Right on the top of my bicep there. Yeah. So now this is super easy. Reach your hands out to the side, turn the palms forward, stretch through those fingertips, and then feel like you can kiss the shoulder blades in the back. Okay, I feel that. You feel this in where? The chest maybe? Yeah, maybe? I feel it right across my the shoulders. sternum there. So if we energize through the fingers, we can take that stretch all the way down to the wrists and the forearms. You feeling that? All right, now we're gonna take this to tabletop. Good. And come into that weird shape that you wanted to do. <laughs> <laughs> so come on to hands and knees. Okay. All right, so move the left knee to the center of the mat and kick that okay. right leg way back. All right. And then tuck right knee behind the left knee. Right hip knee behind left knee. Yeah. Okay. And then flare the feet out like bird's wings and we're yeah. gonna scooch our bum back between our legs. Okay. Grab that block. Oh yeah. Your hips are tight. Oh yeah. This is gonna help. Okay. Raise I need something. the ground, nice. Cause that is tense in there, Deb. Yeah, where do you feel that? Oh, I feel it right across the hip here. I feel mm -hmm. it inside. I feel it everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> My legs are no. screaming. So we are going to open up the shoulders in the back, okay. but this is just a little cherry on top that we get some hip opening here. Yeah. This is our okay. cow face pose. Cow face. Yeah. I like that. Reach out to the side again. Get stretched through those fingers and then bring right elbow under left, and you're gonna wrap the arms around one another, clasp okay. your hands. This is, I've seen people do the eagle pose. Eagle arms, yeah. Oh, eagle arms, okay. So if this isn't available to you, you would bring the forearms together. You know, pecs right. sometimes get in the way, but yeah, you seem to be okay. I don't have a problem with that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take the elbows up to the chin. Okay. And plug the shoulder blades back. Plug them back, all and right. Feel the shoulder I blades. I saw you do them. that, okay. All right, so we can stay here. Okay. Or we can shift the elbows forward, like you're moving them towards the front of the mat, and we're okay. gonna start hinging forward. Pull the belly to the spine. Just take it to where your body says, stop. Okay, it's there. It's there. All right. And then you can move those elbows over the knees if available, dropping the chin to the chest. And then if you remember cat pose, start pressing the shoulder blades to the sky, rounding in the spine okay. a little bit. Okay, yeah? over the round. And then we're gonna come back up. So you could hold that for about five breaths. And let's unwind it. So feel as you unwind it. Stretch the arms out to the side. Wow. Nice. And then we're gonna shake the legs out and come to the other side. Okay. Oh, it's no block for that. No block for this. Shake okay. them out, shake them out. So we can come into the other side Okay. Not so, in not such a tricky way. We're gonna okay. take left knee over right, and if it's available, tuck that right knee under. Okay. 
and recognizing each side might feel a little bit different. Grab your block if you'd like, plop okay. your tailbone on the block. And then when you come up to seated, make sure you've got the shoulders stacked over the hips. Nice straight spine when you get there. All right, am I Feet correct? Feet are flexed, you look great. Feeling all right? Yeah. Okay, arms out to the side, stretch through those fingertips, opening up that chest one more time. Okay. This time left elbow under right. Find the eagle arms, uh, elbows up to chin and plug the shoulder blades back. And then hinge forward if you'd like. Elbows moving over the knee, drop the chin to the chest. Big breath in, we're coming back up. And then open out to the side again. All right. And then hands down, lose the block. Okay. Legs out, shake it out. You got there much more gracefully than me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, where next? Tabletop again. All right. So this one feels fantastic on the shoulders and the back. We're gonna do thread the needle. Okay. This might be familiar to you. Reach the right hand to the sky, open the chest to the right, and then thread that right arm under the left. Oh, there's your thread the needle. Got yeah, it. dropping that shoulder down. Okay. Left hand can reach over the head to the front of your mat. To the front of the mat, okay. So you stay there, I'm gonna Take my left hand around my low back, kind of a little bind just for a little different shoulder opener. Kind of rotate that left shoulder blade back. That's really stretching my neck out. Yeah. Okay. And let's unwind this. All right, so bring left my left hand, hand, hand back. Right hand back, let's undo this by unwinding it, right hand to the sky. And then back to tabletop. All right. Other side, left hand reaches high. And thread it under right arm, dropping the shoulder down. So you're gonna take that top hand reaching towards the front. I'm gonna show this option where I reach around the low back, rotating that left right shoulder blade back. Big breath in. And let it go, let's unwind it. Plant the right hand. And then take it to tabletop, shift hips to heels, our favorite. What's it called, Brian? Oh, uh, this is the child pose. Child pose, like nice. This. Reach around and clasp at the low back. Okay. Move the fist towards your heels, opening up those shoulders a little bit more. You can stay here or roll onto the crown of the head. The, the fists fall towards the front of the mat. And maybe your heels come up towards your bottom. You're balancing on your head and your knees and they call this rabbit pose. Rabbit pose, okay. And then drop hips to heels, ease the arms off the back and come on up to seated. On your knees if that's okay. And just kind of let it settle, nice. That's good. Yeah, how's definitely, it feeling? Definitely, yeah, I definitely feel my shoulders and my neck. Kind of opened everything up it a little did. bit. It did, it did. Thank you so much, Dad. You're welcome. Namaste. Namaste.